knees. Okay, so we're going to start with our feet flat on the ground. So come a little forward on your chair. And let's start just by taking the shoulders up, roll them back, and relax them down. Now notice if your rib cage is jutting forward, if it is, kind of close it in so you feel your core engage. Take the base of your skull back, hold on to that grapefruit underneath your chin. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Let's take a big deep breath in, fill up your belly, fill up your rib cage, fill all the way up to your collarbones without shrugging your shoulders, and then exhale for four. Three, two, and one. Two more times. Deep full inhale, belly goes out, rib cage expands even in your back body, then all the way up to your collarbones, shoulders relax. Exhale, four. Three, two, one. One last time. Deep full inhale, expand the belly, expand the kidneys, expand the rib cage, pull it all the way up to the collarbones. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bring your breath back to its natural rhythm. You're just going to trace the sides of your side body. Keep, try not to shrug the shoulders. So keep the shoulders relaxed. It's going to be hard to do. And then bring your thumbs behind your neck. Touch all 10 fingertips together. Take it all the way up. Keep your core engaged. And then press your fingertips together. Lean your Lean back just a bit without lifting your chin. All the way down, and we're going to start it again. So thumbs come up on your side waist. Good, good, good. Deep breath in. Try not to lift your shoulders. Take, touch 10 fingertips together. Take it all the way up and over your head. Then exhale all the way down. Press, press, press. Lean your body back. Engage your core as you do that. Nice, good. Breath looks good. One last time, inhale, trace it up. Shoulder blades relax down, take it behind your head. Press, 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 all the way up and over. Exhale down, keep pressing, lean back. Two, three, and four, excellent. Go ahead and relax, relax. All right, let's do a little work on the neck. Um, you want to, once again, pull the base of your skull back like you're holding onto that grapefruit. Pretend you've got a pencil, like sticking lead point out, right? We're going to draw a smiley face. And the smiley face is going to be super wide, so you're going to trace the pencil to the corners of the room. So it looks like this. You'll go to one, whop, up, 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 and then come back down to the bottom of the smiley face, and then go to the other corner of the room, and then back down. Trace it up. Lift it up, 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 up. Come on back down. And then the other way. Lift it up. Down. This is super good for your neck. Lift it up. And down. Over the other way. Lifting up. And exhale down. One last time. Inhale. Corner of the smiley face is up. And down, and the other side up, and lift, and back down to the center. So that's just really good on the vertebrae in your cervical spine. Stack them all up. All right, next, let's take our arms out to the side. Relax your shoulder blades down. We'll take our thumbs up, and then feel your lateral muscles kind of pressing down. We're just going to take small circles forward. Let's go eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, reverse it, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Now a little bit bigger. Let's take it forward, just four. Four, three, two, and last one. Reverse it, four, good, three, and two, yeah, watch your neighbor, thumb in the eye, and one. All right, arms up to the side. Now we're just going to move the rib cage. So keep your sitting bones grounded. You're on the edge of your seat. Your feet are flat on the floor. Feel like nice and grounded through your legs even. And we're just going to reach to the right and the center. And reach left. Keep your shoulder blades relaxed down towards your hips. Reach and center. Feel your intercostal muscles working and reach, and center, and left, and center, and right, center, and left, 
and center. Good, hands behind the head. Twist it to your right, then open your back arm, open up the arm behind you, your right arm, bring it back behind your head. Inhale, come back to center <laughs> again. Tickle your neighbor, and then over to the left. Open up your left arm behind you. And then back on the back of your head, come back to center. Inhale, exhale, twist to your right. Open up your arm. Come on back to center. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to your left. Open up your arm to the back. And then bring it back in. Inhale, back to center one more time. Exhale, over to your right. Open it up. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to your left. Open it up. And then back to center. Come on back. Good. Relax it down. Let's shrug it up and press down. Up and down. Lift and lower. Double time. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take them forward. And then open. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Close it off forward, shoulders come toward each other, and then open it up. And two more. Forward, and open it up, real broad across your chest. Last time, forward, and open it up. Nice, take your hands, reach them toward your fingertips. Pull your chest through, inhale, arch your back. Now lift your chest to lift your head. And then exhale, round through your back. Bring your navel in toward your spine, your chin to your chest. Inhale, this is cow pose, arch your back, lift your sitting bones behind you, bring your shoulder blades together, lift your heart, then your head. And then exhale, go ahead and tuck the tailbone under, navel to the spine, chin to the chest, dome through your back, really pull, 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 stretch your back. Inhale, arch your back, lift your chest, then lift your head, shoulder blades together. Exhale, last one, navel to the spine, Tailbone curls under, navel comes in, and stretch your upper back. Then bring it on back to neutral. Good. Excellent. All right. From here, let's grab one weight, and we're going to turn to the right side. Just have the weight handy. But right now, um, well, yeah, we'll use it. So it's going to be awkward in these chairs, but as best you can, kind of sit side saddle. I'm going to move it up just a bit. You can hold on with your right hand to the back of the chair. And then take your weight down at your side. Take an inhale. Lift it up to the height of your chest or shoulder. And then exhale. Open it up toward me. You can even look at it, but make sure your shoulder blade is relaxed down. And then take it back to the front. And then back down at your side. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, turn and twist to the front. God bless you. Inhale, back to the center. And release down. Two more times. Lift it up. And then turn it toward me. Bring it back in front of you. Release it down. Last time. Inhale, lift. Open it up. Take it forward. And lower it back down. This time we're going to add a little bit to it. Take it up. Turn it out toward me. Face your palm up. Let's do a bicep curl in. Touch your shoulder. Take it out. Take it back to the front. And lower it down. Again, lift toward me. Face it up. Curl it in. Curl it out. Back to the front. And lower it down. Two more. Lift and open and curl and open to the front of you and last one in open side to me face it up curl it and open it and back to the front and take it back down good now take your um, front knee which should be your left leg Curl your back toes under. Try and get your knee under your hip if possible. We're just, you can release the weight or hang on to it. We're just going to twist toward the back of your chair. So lengthen up through your spine and then twist toward the back of your chair. Good. Hold it there for four, three, 
two, and one. Now reach the arm up with weight or no weight, either way. Reach, 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 reach. Lift, 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 but keep your shoulder blade relaxed. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Release it back down. Let's go ahead and come back to the front and then switch hands with your weight. Let's go to the other side. Okay, sitting with a nice tall spine, both feet in together. So we're gonna do the first exercise where we lift that anterior lift. So here we go, sitting with a nice tall spine, shoulder blades relaxed, base of the skulls back, take an inhale, lift it up to the height of the shoulder. Good, that's your right hand. And then exhale, open it up toward me. Hello, let me see your beautiful faces. Inhale back in front of you. Exhale, release it down. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, open toward me. Inhale, back in front of you. Exhale, release it down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. It's like a hammer curl hand. Inhale, back to the front and down. Last one. Inhale. Open side. Keep the shoulder blade relaxed and front and down. Now we're going to add the curl. So we lift it up. We open it to the front of the room. Palm up. Curl it in. Curl it out. Take it back to the front and down. Again. Lift. Engage your core as you do this. Palm up. Curl it in, curl it out. Feel that lateral muscle. Take it forward, relax it down. So it's inhale, lift. Exhale, open, palm up. Pull it in, feel this muscle right here. And open, back to the front. And lower, last one. Should start to feel fatigued right about now. And open, palm up. Bring it in to your shoulder. Open it up, back to the front, exhale it down. Now, your front knee bends, curl your toes under, just like you're in a lunge, right? Sit with a tall spine, take a look down, try and get your knee under your hip. Tall spine, core engagement, so bring your navel to your spine, lift up through your chest, base of your skull is back, and then twist to the back, hold it there for four, three, two, one. One, we're just going to increase the stretch by lifting the right arm up. Reach, reach, reach. Get taller in the whole side of your body. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Release it back down. Come back to the center and grab your other weight. Here we go. So let's just start with the legs and then we'll add on the arms. So lift your right leg up. And down, just like a march. Let's do a slow down version of the march. Lift and lower, flex your foot, stomp it down. Good. Now, as we do that, we're going to add a few things. And here it goes. Just press it up and down and lift and down and lift and lower. And here we go. Where are we marching to? Not sure, <laughs> but we're on a mission. And down, and let's go four, and three, good morning, and two, and one. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit. So we're going to take it to the shoulder first, then when we press it up, lift the leg. Take it back to the shoulder, and down, other side. So we'll alternate, whoops, so here. Then lift the leg, back, and down. And shoulder, press up, lift the leg. So it's the opposite leg as arm. So just a little brain teaser. <laughs> With all these beats and lifts and the opposite, it's a brain teaser for sure, right? So lift, now lift the leg. Now down goes the leg and then down goes the arm. And lift, lift your leg, take it down and the arm. It's always good, right? Good to have a mental workout as well as the physical. We're combining the two in this exercise, that's for sure. And lift, down goes the leg, and then down goes the arm. Let's do it one more time. And reach, and down, and last one. Here we go. Nope, oh, I almost did. <laughs> Let's 
bad when the teacher does it wrong. Okay, from here, take the weights out in front of you. Um, your forearms are near each other. And then we're just going to open the hip, open the foot side so we get into the hip and then open the arms. Try not to let the arms sink down. Try and keep them to the height of the shoulders, right? Bring them back in. So just keep your awareness spread all over your body. We're going to do the other leg now. So go to the right now and then back to the center. Go to, I'm sorry, that's your right. That was my left. And center. Now your left, my right, and center. Open side. How about if I just say side to side? Center and side and center good open and center and open again two more open together and open together good okay we're gonna we're gonna lose the weights for a moment we're gonna continue with the hip for a little bit so let's start with the right leg you're gonna lift your knee up and then take it out and down, like we're making a big circle. Like make a big circle with your foot, just so we can get really uh, good and, and lubricated in that hip socket. Get the synovial fluid going, right? If you have any uh, arthritis, it, setting it in there. Nobody, nobody's got it. <laughs> All the good stuff. That's right. All the good stuff comes with age. Good. Let's do two more. Good. And that's enough on that leg. Good. It's good because it strengthens too, but we're getting, yeah, we're getting at all that stuff that tends to limit our mobility in the hip. Open. Good. Looks good. Keep it going. Rev it up. Let's go four. Three. Try and keep a straight spine. Two. And one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. From here, um, mm, we're going to grab our weights again and just hold your weights kind of um, right on your thigh, tops of your thighs. And we're just going to take the weight side and then engage your core when you do this, back, back and front. Let's lift them up a little bit so they're not resting so it's a little more challenging. Take it side, keep your shoulder blade down, and back to the center. When you come back to center, feel your core engagement. So it's as much about your core as it is about your arm strength and your shoulders. Good, side and center, side. Looks good, can we smile as we do this? That's the challenging part. Side and center, two more side and center. Last one, side. Now we're gonna take it all the way across. Well, let's rest the left one down. Open it up. Now take this all the way across so it's a gentle twist. You're going to feel it more in the core now. Open it up. Let's do inhale. Exhale, take it across. Navel to spine. Good. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, feel that core engage. Good. When the core is strong, the whole body is so much more healthier. So good for your back. Yeah. The best way to help your back ache is to work on your core. Let's go ahead and do the other, other side. Take it out to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Cross your body. Cross your middle. Good. And then open. Deep breath in. Exhale. Cross it over. Good. Sit it up. And over. One more time. Looks good. Wind up. I mean, open. And close. Good. And I think that was four. Okay, <laughs> good thing I mean, you were not close. I saw that go over. <laughs> exactly. All right, so um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put the weights down and do our sumo squats that we all know and love. So let's take the feet wide, turn your toes out, your heels in, keep your spine. Let's start with a nice straight spine, roll your shoulders back, rib cage comes together. Base of your skull, so chin is down a little bit, base of your skull is back, so the whole neck is in line with your spine. Now hinge at your hips forward. Hinge, lift off, hover, and then sit back down. Again, here we go. Hinge, lift off, hover, yes. Emma <laughs> I heard those sound effects too, Manny. Lean, lift, 
and lower, <laughs> and back down. I didn't say hover, Manny. And lean, and lift, and float. Is that better? Float. <laughs> down. All right, now we're going to do quick touches or slow touches. How about slow touches? Let's do this. We're going to touch and lift. Touch down and lift and down and lift and down. Last one. Nicely done. Nicely done. And remember, even if you don't lift off, as long as you're engaging your, your glute muscles and your hamstrings and your thighs, that's what we're going for, just to build that strength around this whole area. Okay. Um, next, we're going to do a little bit of cardio. So we don't need the weights any longer. Uh, let me see if I can cue my music. Hey. It's working. Look, I even got it on the speaker, guys. How do you like that? All right. All right, here we go. Take it out in front. Feel left. Nice tall spine. Come to the edge of your seat so your spine, so you're using your spinal muscles and you're not using the crutch of the chair, the back of the chair. So as forward, far forward as you can. Good. Let's add the arms. Push back. Press back. Good. Press. And press. We're going to mix it up. After this one, we're going to lift the knee and press it up. Alternate still. Good. Press. Press. Excellent. Push. 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 Last one. Change it up again. Hold the arms here. We're, now we're going to pull. And pull. Pull it down. Now when you pull, do it like you mean it. Yes? So feel your back muscles working. Feel your biceps working like you're really pulling something. Let's go four. And then we'll go back to the beginning three. That's right. Two. And one, keep it going. Push it out, press. Good. And press. And push. Not sure what happened, but we're going to keep going anyway. Two, just two, former four. And three. Excellent. Two. And one, take it up. Lift your leg. Raise the roof. And two. No, four more, actually. I, I shortchanged you. Four. There it is. And three, can you straighten your arms? Two, fully straight. And red, hold them there. Now, pull it down, pull it down. I don't know why this one is like a semi-truck driver for me, like just pulling the horn, you know? I don't know, that's what I'm gonna call it anyways. This is the, the truck driver horn. Pull and pull again. Let's go four and three and two and one. Back to the beginning, let's do four each time. Four, three, two. We're gonna lift the knee after this one. Arms go up, here we go. Press it up, four, and three. What's next after this one? Two, do you guys remember? Yes, good, hold it here. Pull, the truck driver, right? Horn, three, two, again with fours. Press it, heel digs, four, three, two, knee lifts, arms overhead in one. Here we go, and lift, yes, and up, and up. Semi-truck driver horn. What was that? I didn't keep it there. Sorry. And pull. And two. And one. Give it a rest while I figure out the music. Hang on. See what happened here. I'm not quite sure what happened. All right. We may have to do it with no music. I'm afraid. Okay. Let's. Oh. I have no idea what just happened, but. Okay. We're back to our music. <laughs> All right. Let's take the arms out in front, and we're going to reach toward the ankle. So we're, again, getting into the hips. Yes, reach toward. You don't have to touch your ankle, but in that direction. And hit. Down. Down. Yes. Go. Four. Three. Then we're going to do side punches. Two. And one. Here it goes. Punch. Punch. Back to the center. Punch. And punch. Good. Punch. And punch. Good. <laughs> punch. Now we're going to punch it up. Reach up. So feel the side body stretch now. Yes. That's right. Good. Good. 
reach. You can just step inside. How about we just step inside? Step side to side. Don't worry about the lunge. That's right. Keep going. Go still four. Three. Two. And one. Back to the heel taps. Heel tap. 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 Good. Tap. Keep it going. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Punches. Go right. Right. Left. Good. Just step side to side. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And overhead. Side stretch like this. Reach. So you get that whole stretch in the side of your body. Nice. Woo! We're ambitious here. Nice lunges. Good. Reach. And push. And reach. Four more. And reach. Three. Looks good. Two. Change it up. Open, close. Open, close. Open. Nice. Open. Get ready. We're going to do star jumps next. Star jumps coming up. Now. Two. And in. I'll slow it. Can you slow it first? <laughs> she was ready. Elaine, right? She was ready. <laughs> Out. And in one more slow, option to stay at the slow pace or double time, like this. Out and in. How bright can you make that star? Reach it out. Make it big. And out. That's right, Manny. Out. In. Out. In. Out. And in and out. And let's do one at a time. Out. 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 That's right. Four more. Four. Three, two, Saxon side bends are next. Take the arms down, arms down. Here we go. Lean, center, lean, center. So good for core. Once again, core is the theme today. And lean, good. And lean, all right. Just to make it a little bit more challenging, lift the opposite knee. Then you're gonna really feel the core. Keep your awareness right in your core, right in those core muscles. How much can you wake them work? Good. All right, hold it to the right, hold it here. Right, four, three, two, one. Go left, four, three. Keep your shoulders relaxed too. Now double, two right, two left, here we go. And left, two, two more. Last one for a double. Single it out now. Single it out till the end of the song. <gasps> and there it is already. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop there. And. All righty. Okay. We're going to uh, bring it back down. All right. For this next one, I'm going to give you a couple of options. We're going to stretch it out just a bit. Um, so start with your, if you can get the soles of your feet to touch, go ahead and do that. So you're on the outer edge of your feet. Okay. And then we're going to exhale, bring your uh, legs together and put your fists together. You're going to press against your fist and then inhale, go ahead out. Resist, 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 resist. Bring it back in. Once again, press, 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 press. And back out, and still resisting, resist, resist, resist. Bring it back in, four, three, squeeze, two, and one, open it up, resist, four, three, two, one, last time, four, press, those adductors, fired up, one, squeeze, and then resist, resist, like your legs want to close, but your hands don't allow them to. Relax. <sighs> Okay, bring your feet together, come up on your toes and just kind of wiggle back and forth. Let's go eight. This is going to bring um, mobility right to that low back area. Four, three, two, and one. All right, separate your feet. Let's lift up and then down. Now flex your feet. 
Flex your feet to lift your toes. Take it down. Lift up on your toes, and then down, and then feet up, and down. Tippy toes, press down, toes up, and down. Last one, up, and lower, and lift, and lower. All right. Um, from here, let's go ahead and straighten the right leg out. And then hinge your body forward. And then what we're going to do is pretend you have a pencil underneath your toes. It's hard to do in shoes, um, but pretend that you have a pencil in your toes. So I want to work the toes on this one too. So flex your foot back toward your knee. Good. And then with that, curl your toes within your shoe. Hold on to that pencil. And then release the pencil down. Ooh. You may get a little ache in there. Okay, then release, drop the pencil, flex your toes back, and then pull it back. Good. So having good mobility in the toe, especially the big toe, is good for the ankle, the knees, and the hips. So let's do it again. Go ahead. Curl your toes under like you're holding on tight grip on the pencil. Take it down, drop it, release it. Good. Curl your toes back, and then flex your foot back up. Once again, curl your toes, hold on to the pencil, then... Take it all the way down and release it. Flex the toes back and then flex it back up one more time. And hold on to the pencil and drop it all the way down and then flex it back. Good. Okay, let's take it, invert your foot and then externally rotate. Internally rotate, externally rotate. Internal. External, one more time. Can you guys feel that up in your hip? Good. All right, bring it back. Let's do the left leg now. Okay, flex the foot. Tighten it up so you can feel the quads engage. Then go ahead and curl the toes in your shoe. Curl them, curl them, but keep it flexed. Then point your foot. Drop the pencil. Flex your toes back, then flex your foot back. Curl. Curl, hold onto the pencil, grip it, and then point it. Release it, just the toes back, and then the foot back. Good. Again, grip the pencil, point, release it, just the toes flex back, and then the foot flexes back. One more time, grip your pencil. Point your foot, release the pencil, flex your toes back, <clears throat> flex your foot back. Good. Now internal rotation, external. Internal. External, two more, in and out, and in and out. Good. <clears throat> now, two options. Um, this is one, so you're getting in the hip. Or if you can do this, if you can cross it into like a four position, go ahead and do that. If, it's, if it hurts, if you have pain, don't do it. Never pain. It might be discomfort, but never pain, okay? So holding here with a nice tall spine. You're typically going to feel it right in your glutes. In this whole area, you're going to feel a nice stretch. Try to relax it. So bring your awareness to where you're meeting that resistance. And close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, see the breath moving to that area where you're experiencing that resistance. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in, fill up your belly, keep your spine nice and straight. Exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Stay with the sensation. Exhale right into that sensation. Go ahead and release it. Feel, if it feels good to shake it out, you can do that. And switch sides. Okay, option either here or all the way up here. And you'll notice one side is most likely different than the other. That, that's true of almost every body. All right, here we go. Flex your foot to protect your knee. Okay. Should have told you that on the other side. All right, nice tall spine, shoulder blades relaxed. Base of the skull's back, holding onto that grapefruit. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe in. And out, and in, 
them out. Last one. How full can you make that breath? How much can you receive in? And empty your lungs completely. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Release it. Okay, we can even take the, the legs from one side to the other. One side to the other. One more time. <clears throat> okay, back to the center. Um, and go ahead and sit with a tall spine. Um, again, proper alignment. Feet are about hips distance apart. Your knees are over your ankle. You're on the edge of your chair. Your sitting bones are tipped back just a little bit. Slight arch in the lower back. Rib cage together. Long, tall spine. Just think about pulling up from the crown of your head. Shoulders, roll them back. When you do that, just make sure the rib cage doesn't poke out. Base of the skull is back. And then take one hand, one belly onto your, or one hand, <laughs> one hand onto your belly. Now breathe in, fill up your belly. Fill up your um, rib cage. And then bring the breath all the way up to your collarbones without shrugging your shoulders. Exhale for five. Out through your nose, four, three, two, and one. Again, deep breath, fill up your belly. Rib cage fills up all the way up to your collarbones. Exhale, five, slow and steady, through your nose, four, lips together, three, two, and one. Keep doing, let's do two to three more rounds, just like I was guiding you. Just knowing how good this is for your nervous system, for your circulatory system, oxygenating the blood, getting your whole nervous system to calm down, just feeling a sense of relaxation, and activating the neurotransmitter GABA, GABA, which is responsible for those feel-good feelings. So just take one more cycle of breath. And then relax your hand back down onto your thigh. And just take a moment to think of one thing in your life that you are so grateful for. And then we're going to step back out into our life from that feeling of gratitude. Go ahead and open your eyes. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. <laughs>